don't have the Talastia. We don't have the Talastia yesterday. Today is an improved version of yesterday. Tomorrow will be better than today. That's the life we have, and I want you to believe it. This is the force of thanksgiving part three. The force of thanksgiving. Now this one, we're going to thank God until we are ready to go. Are you ready right now? Luke 17, verse 12 to 19. Luke 17, 12 to 19. This is the story of 10 lepers. Jesus met this 10 leper and he healed them. And he told them, go and show yourself to the priest. And on their way, they discovered they were healed. And one returned to give him thanks. And in verse 17, Jesus made a statement. 17 of Luke 17. Luke 17, verse 17. Jesus answering, were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? So in this service, God is looking for the nine. So out of ten, only one returned. When you help ten people, don't expect too much that the ten of them will be grateful. Out of ten, only one returned. Then this verse 17 tells us what God does in heaven when God shows you hell. God keep record. On the 17th of March, I changed his job. He, he has not shown gratitude. I bless him with promotion. He didn't share the testimony. God keep record. And God is asking this morning, where are the nine? Where are the nine grateful people? And you know the rest of the story. Jesus told that one, he said, your faith has made you old. Only one was perfected. Only one received oneness out of ten. This morning, God is looking for the nine people who are going to return to say thank you, Jesus. Where are they this morning? So you thank him before your blessing turned to a curse. Thank him before he caused darkness. Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 16. If you don't want your blessing to turn to a cause, give him glory. Verse 16. He said, give glory to the Lord your God before he caused darkness. Before your day turn to darkness, give him glory. Before your feet stumble upon dark mountains. While you look for light, he turned to shadow of death. And he turned to gross darkness. That will not be your portion. Give God glory before he calls darkness. In this service, let me briefly give you benefits of thanksgiving. Benefit of thanking God. Number one, thanksgiving will preserve your blessing. Thanksgiving preserve your blessing. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 14. Ecclesiastes 3 14. Whatsoever the Lord doeth, it shall be forever. I know that whatever the Lord doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing shall be put to it. Nothing shall be taken away from it. God's blessings are meant to be forever. But we have seen testimony reverse. We have seen good things stop because people don't give God thanks. This morning when it's time to give God thanks, to say, Lord, I acknowledge what you have done for me, do it with your might. Do it with your strength. Malachi chapter 2 from verse 2 to 3. Malachi chapter 2, 2 to 3. If you will not hear, if you will not lay it to heart, to give glory to my name, say the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. Somebody say, God forbid. I will curse your blessing. He said, in fact, I'm hungry. Yes, I have cursed them already. Because you did not lay it to heart to give glory to my name. If you don't want your blessing to be a cause, give glory to his name. Thanksgiving will preserve your blessing. God is doing good thing in your life. You want it to multiply, give God thanks. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47. Deuteronomy 28 verse 47. 
because you did not serve the Lord with joyfulness. They are serving God, but they don't do it with joy. With gladness of heart, in the abundance of how many things, all things he has done for you. He said, that is your offense. Verse 48 says, therefore, because you didn't serve me with joy, therefore you will serve your enemy. And this enemy is not going to come from Satan, which the Lord will send against you. This kind of enemy you can't escape. The offense of these people is thanksgiving. They are thanksgiving deficient. Always complaining. Like I said on Thursday, there's somebody who is saying, God, why did you create me in Nigeria? Which other country do you want God to create you? He created you in this nation for a purpose. For you to change something here. There is a blessing in your hand. There is a blessing in your mouth for Nigeria. Can I hear Amen. And God is saying, you will serve your enemy with the Lord will send against you. In hunger, in thirst, every time you are hungry and you don't have something to eat, check your thanksgiving level. Check whether you are grateful. Lord, for me to even be hungry is a miracle. Thank you. You know, there are people who are hungry, they can't eat. I mean, you don't know that nursery rhyme. Some have food. Sing it if you go to, went to nursery school. Some food. Now lift up your two hands. We we food and we the children church will be wondering what is going on in church. Praise the Lord. Now, now you, you have just proved that there is a primary school and a nursery school thing here. Amen. Do you know, and that's what the Bible says, anyone who can praise God like a baby, uh, I mean, that's what God is asking us, the heart of a baby. You are not forming any big man. I'm joyful and thank you. I give you praise for what you have done for me. And God says, wow, this is my son praising me. I will preserve his blessing. I wish ensure that this blessing multiply. Amen. Amen. But if you are forming big here this afternoon, I think you need to be careful. There is a dangerous anointing here for praise. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Don't form big. So if your neighbor is doing it like a baby, just know that your neighbor is on her way up. I think, I think it's a she. She's on her way up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Just know that that neighbor is going up. That's why this neighbor is behaving like a baby. You, you may not be comfortable sitting next to this person today. Don't worry, after the service, we will do it and apologize later, you know, praise the Lord. Are you ready to praise him this morning? So thanksgiving preserve our blessing. You don't want to serve your enemy, praise God. You don't want day to turn to darkness, praise God. Don't be blinded with what God has not done. If you can think deep, he has done more than enough for you. Praise the Lord. You know that song that says, count your blessing, name them one. Sing it very loud now. Now say it now. Yes. To surprise you, to surprise you. Timba Kariolua Ila Suila Sapele Ila Suila Timba Kariolua Ila Suila so if we count it, it will become uncountable. 
morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night. If we keep counting, praise the Lord. For the air we breathe in, the strength, you are even able to sit down today. It is a miracle. You don't know the meaning of soundness of health until there is a weak law in the hand. Until there is a toothache. Then you know how to give God praise. If you have been there, you know what I'm talking about. A little member of the body suffer. The whole body is suffering. Migraine in the head. The head is pounding. Then you can thank him. I said on Thursday, it's because you are sane, you are complaining about your car. Somebody who is mad does not know car. But because you are sane, you will remember you have not been promoted this year. When you count his blessing, you will have enough reason to thank God. If you know how to think, you will know how to thank if you think deep today, then say, hey, Lord, I thank you. 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 The reason you are thinking about next level that God has not done is because your head is correct. Somebody who is mad does not know next level. The dead can't praise him. The dead, I mean, they're gone. They're gone. And that's why every time I like when we sing that song, nobody can praise God for me. I will praise him myself. Praise the Lord. So this morning, when it's time to thank God, don't do it by prosy. Don't appoint your wife to thank God on behalf of the family. You watch out, my joke. You have the anointing. Nobody bring the anointing to dance from heaven. It is a command. Let them praise him with tambourine and with dance. That's what Psalm 149 says. So this morning, when it's time to thank God, do it by yourself. Nobody is breathing on your behalf. Psalm 150 verse 6, let everything that has breath. What should they do? So when it's time to thank God, because every time you give him quality thanks, you are preserving your blessing. God ensure you live long. God ensure you are not just living, but you are enjoying your life. That's what we sang in the first service. You, you know how many people are alive, but not in their place. Alive, but in prison. Alive, but in hospital. Alive, but not enjoying life. For that alone, give him praise. Give him praise. Thanksgiving will preserve your blessing. Thank him for life. Thank him for the air you breathe in. Thank him for your going out. Thank him for your coming in. Do you know people, some just wake up in the morning and they are fed up about life and the next thing is that you heard that the lady went out and she never returned. Maybe she just looked for one lagoon and just went into it. The lady that says, um, I, I think the Uber driver overheard her quarreling with her fiance on Tall Mayland Bridge and the lady instructed the Uber driver to stop that um, uh, she just wants to do something. And the moment the Uber driver, with that heated argument that just finished, the lady jumped into the river. I'm not sure they found her body. After several days of search, they gave up. So she went out that day never to return. Only for people to be pacing up. Did you follow that story? Did they find her body? Did they find her body? No, I, I'm not sure. After some time, the search people just gave up. I think after four days, they couldn't find her body and everybody just gave up. Are we happy that that happened? No. I'm just telling you how many, do you know how many times you have, many people went into depression and God just said no. 
God just said no. Praise the Lord. So, so God is asking you to give him praise for your, from your heart. The depth of your heart. Let everything that has breath, everything within you. This finger you are moving, it is a miracle on its own. A major testimony at that. Let something like Wicklow happen to this finger. You will know the meaning of, of divine health. This finger will be sending signal to your brain. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? Pounding headache because of Wicklow in the hand. Then they will give you all manner of native theory. Including that you should do poo poo and put it inside. All manner of things. Because your hand is paining you. I've been there before when I had my premolar needs to be removed. I put, I don't know whether they say self fencing. In those days, it's fencing. I put the whole of fencing in that premolar. It will melt. And after the thing melts, I'll get some relief. But 30 minutes later, the head start pounding again until you remove this man here before divine health. And can I tell you when eventually they removed it? They removed it 24th of December. The devil is a liar. I went to remove my teeth a day to Christmas. So on Christmas, this hour was in Christmas chicken. It is cutting wood, hot water. Hot water and salt. That's what we're doing. So if one member of your body is suffering, you will know the meaning of appreciating God. See your 32 is complete. And many, many here whose who 32 is not complete. I mean, it's not complete. Rachel is in my group. We are, we are in the same group. And uh, is anybody in my group? Let me see. Your 32 is not complete. Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about. So this morning, even though our 32 is not complete, we are still thanking God. At least the thing disturbing the 32, we have removed it. And we are living in soundness of health. Hallelujah. So when they say, let everything that has bread, let this leg praise the Lord. Let this body. I think I saw a lady at the back who sent me a sad story of her sister who is not a member of this church. They did a CS for that lady, and that lady from CS did not make it. You know how many people have done CS, and they come back with the baby, you know? And I said, wow, this is a very sad story, you know? And I started praying for the lady's family. The sister is not a member of this church. I don't care, but this, she's a member. She's touched. She's emotionally down. We have every reason to thank God. Island Church pregnant women. Even this week, we still got a baby in Island Church. They go there, they bring back the baby. We hear voice of mother, voice of baby. Can I hear a loud thank you, Jesus? So, if we want our blessing to be preserved, let's give him thanks. In this service, I'm not going to do five minutes. Let's do ten minutes praise. Somebody, for a long time, you have not praised God. I think this, today, you need to catch up. Anybody like that in church? You want to praise God more today? All right, number two, benefit of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving can reverse the irreversible. Thanksgiving can solve difficult problems. Reverse the irreversible. John chapter 11, verse 41 to 44. They got to Lazarus' house and they said, Lazarus was dead and this time it was already four days. But Jesus says, I know a mystery. He says, roll away the stone. They say, ah, master, don't go there. By this time, he's smelling. Have you been to in a situation when people run from you? Family member run from you. Friends run from you. When they see your number, they put it in busy. Perpetual beastly mood. That was the story of Lazarus. Difficult situation. But when Jesus got to the tomb, Jesus said, I know a mystery. Immediately, the Bible says, he said, Father, I thank you. Because you always hear me. But for the sake of these people, uh, I am just 
making this open declaration, then he faced the tomb. Thanksgiving can solve no matter how difficult, how stubborn. Praise God over it. We are quick to say, have you prayed about it? Only few people say, have you praised God on this matter? When you're going through a situation, they say, three days dry fasting. Three days prayer. Three days vigil. The VG is all about bombarding heaven with your request. This year must not pass me by. Give me my wife or I die. I give me my wife or I die. Give me. No. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for my wife. Thank you for the children. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my business. Thank you for the contract. Thank you for new opportunity. That as you are thanking God, Somebody is inspired to bless you. Hallelujah. For me, when I want to bless people, I look at them singing God's praise. If you frown your, your face, I can mistake you for a terrorist. I won't move close to you. But people who are rejoicing, who are celebrating God, no matter what they face, they are still thanking God. You know, I told you on Thursday, you get the enemy mad. This guy has not changed his job for four years. He has been praying. Seeing this way, he's thanking God. So they are mad. What, what else can we do to him? This morning, I want you to confuse the enemy. To confuse them with your thanksgiving. Because that is the prescription for difficult situation. Isaiah 54 verse 1. Rejoice, O barren. Burst into the singing, you that did not bring forth. So if you want barrenness to end, you want to reverse the irreversible. This morning, when it's time to give him praise, give him praise. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 17. I like that scripture so much. Habakkuk 3, 17. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither will there be fruit in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, the field shall yield no meat, the flock will be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herb in the star. Everything about verse 17 is negative. No result. You desire good thing, it did not come. You are like stranded in life. They ask you to go to school. You, did, you went first degree, second degree, still no job. That's what that scripture is saying. Verse 18, he said, in the midst of this negativity, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. And what will I do? I will joy in the God of my salvation. What will happen when I now rejoice? He said, verse 19 now. He said, the Lord is my strength. He will make my feet like hand feet. And he will make me to walk upon my high places. Why? Because I reverse it in verse 18. Yet I will rejoice. In the midst of this dark situation, yet I will rejoice. Thanksgiving will reverse the irreversible. No matter how difficult, no matter how perplexed the situation may be, give God thanks. Number three, I think we'll stop number three, then we'll take some time to praise him. Thanksgiving will guarantee multiplication. Multiplication. That is your original default. In Genesis 1, 28, God blessed them and said to them, multiply. Thanksgiving guarantee multiplication. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. In your house this year, thanksgiving. Amen. Somebody, amen, is deep and loud. You will end 2022 rejoicing. Amen. In celebration. I have a witness in my spirit this week. Good news is coming. Bountiful gift this week. Testimony like you have never received this week. Joy and rejoicing this week. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. The voice of him that make merry. And the Lord says, I will multiply them. As long as they thank me, I will multiply them. And they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Shout it louder than your neighbor. I refuse to be small. They shall not be small. When you thank him, multiplication. John chapter 6, 11. We see the story of 
how Jesus used five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed 5,000 men. And the remnant from that exercise was 12 baskets. In fact, 12 baskets is more than what was shared. It's a mystery. That's what Thanksgiving does. When you thank God, things multiply. John chapter 6, verse 11. Jesus himself knew what to do. Oh, they stood him and said, what are these among these people? But Jesus took the loaves and he gave thanks. In the hand of a thanksgiver, small is enough. Nothing finishes. In the house of a thanksgiver, there is no scarcity. If you can thank him in this service, you continue to experience multiplication. This is my lifestyle. I am a crazy thanksgiver. I love God. I love God to my marrow. I just love to sing his praise, to worship him. I love to pray. I love to sing his worship. I love worship like anything. I like good music. And I told you this, this month, I want you in your house, in your environment. If your voice is not cooperating with the kind of song you want to do, put good music. Then you sing along. I mean, get microphone, do a video of how you are singing along. You know, sing along now. And then, I mean, get instrumental to play. Then you put it on um, all manner of platform. Let them see the way you are worshiping your God. Even if it's not your own voice, but just, just do, pretend as if you are doing something. Take something in your house and say, this worship, I, I dedicate this song to my Jesus. Then you play the music. Then the music starts playing. Then you start singing. Then you, at a point, you, you go, you, you know how you use the, is it trouble or terrible now? Uh, the, the treble. Then you do it. Oh! Then, then everybody say, wow, look at this, this, this sister is gifted. This brother is gifted. But you know you are doing something to guarantee your multiplication. The more you thank him, the more there will be multiplication. That little thing God has given to you, until you thank him for it, there will be no multiplication. Jesus on five loaves, it was not enough. It cannot be enough. In fact, five loaves cannot feed one person adult. Particularly people of Peter and James status, who are fishermen and they know what it takes to catch fishes. I mean, we are talking about a little boy lunch. But Jesus gave thanks. In the hand of a thanksgiver, small is enough. In the hand of a thanksgiver, there is no scarcity. Listen to me this morning. Until you thank God for that chaos, it will not turn to a shop. Until you thank God for the shop, it will not turn to a store. Until you thank him for the store, it will not turn to a chain of store. Thank God for little things. Thank God for little beginning. We don't play with that in Ireland Church. You know what we did during our second year anniversary? You would think we have been here for 20 years. We, we went all over town, all over Ikeja, singing his praise, inviting people, Ireland Church is too. God has been good to us. We give him all the glory. We are not ashamed to trace our miracle to God. Can I hear amen to that? Amen. Thanksgiving will lead to your multiplication. Until you thank God for your leg, don't expect a Toyota Camry. You must thank him for your foot wagging. Thank God, oh, this leg, I can still carry it and I'm walking. I can still stand by BRT and queuing. Until you thank God for this leg, don't expect a Toyota Camry. And until you thank God for your Toyota Camry that is doing two, 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 don't expect a Lexus. Praise the Lord. I know you have your dream house, dream car. You've pasted it on your mirror. Oh, pastor said this year, 12 digits. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I call the things that be not as though they were. Thank God for where you are living first. Before the banana island, we are prophesying. If you don't thank God for Ikori, I mean Ikorodu, you can't go to Ikori. You have to, because both of them start with I-K, but I-K, do I-K, Lord. You must thank God for this one here before you go to the one there. If you don't thank God for this little thing he has done for you, 
Because uh, you are like the Israelite. What has God done? Mana. What is this? What is this? Then God is watching you and saying, hey, you will remain here. They spent 40 years eating what is this? Because the first time they saw manna, they, they look at it. They have never seen anything like that before. When a food, we are talking about food of angels. You never labored for it and God rained it from heaven and he gave it to them and their doorstep. They opened the door and they saw something and said, what is this? And they named that food, what is this? And God ensured that because you said, what is this? You will eat what is this for 40 years. So every morning, what is this? What is this? God never changed their food because they didn't thank or appreciate him. He ensured that food remained their menu for 40 years. At the time, they cried, God, we can't be eating manna every day, manna every day. And God says, okay, what do you want? They say they want meat. God knows that they are not grateful people. They are not qualified for the next level because they have not thanked him for this level. So he said, I'm going to give you meat. If, if the east wind brought uh, meat. Why the meat was in their mouth? The Bible says God slew the factors of them. The one that love food. You know, there are people when, I mean, as I'm talking about food right now, somebody's stomach is always, rah, 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 Pastor, let's go, let's go, let's go. Even from that song you sang, some of you, somebody is hungry. Let this service just end. I didn't take favor before coming to church. If not that, I've just joined the workforce. Ah, all this, uh, I eat breakfast by 7 or uh, He's angry right now that this service must not be one minute above 12. Otherwise, I just go to the chorus there and say, I help myself. God, even God knows I have tried. <laughs> no. This morning, give God praise for him to multiply you. Thank him for what he has done for you. Thank God for your current job. Our thanksgiving and dance today, we are not entertaining ourselves. We are singing praise to God to say, Lord, we are grateful. And please note that this dance is personal. As you are doing your own, allow your neighbor to do his own the way. If somebody is violent in the dancing, maybe that's the dimension. You don't know what God has done for the person. Praise the Lord. So I will encourage everybody to do their own thing. And that's why we're going to leave 10 dedicated minutes for this praise. Is somebody ready this morning? I want all eyes closed and all head bowed. I need to help somebody and lead somebody to Christ before we sing his praise this afternoon. You are in this church and you are saying, Pastor, I don't know Jesus. Today, by this sermon, I like to move close to God. I want to be born again. I want to be a child of God. I want to serve God. I'm grateful for what he has done for me and today, I resolve to move close to him. If you are that person, Lift your right hand above your head. I want to pray for you right now. Anywhere you are in this hall, lift it high above your head. This is your morning of salvation. Your morning of deliverance. If your hand is up, I'd like you to say with me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy on me. Wash me by your blood. Make me whole. I confess Jesus, Lord over my life. No more to sin. No more to the devil. I am born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me in Jesus' name. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. By your declaration, you are saved. You will not return to your vomit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can I hear a loud amen? If you said that prayer, a sleep has been given to you. Do well to feel it and return it to your friend. Everybody jump on your feet. Let's give God a praise. Let everything that has bed praise the Lord. Let everything that has bed praise the Lord. Let everything that has been praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I woke up on Thursday morning and the Lord said, tell my people it is their turn. Yeah. Other people have shared testimony. It is your turn. It is your turn to get a job. It's your turn to get married. It's your turn to move forward. It's your turn to carry your baby. It's your turn for your own wedding to be dedicated. In the name of Jesus. I also say to someone this morning, your joy will be on the increase. That person, amen, is the loudest. Your joy will know no bound. This is your season of rejoicing. 
in the name of Jesus. I want you to get ready. This December, you are going to end it in celebration. You are going to end it well. Good news is coming from everywhere. In the name of Jesus. If you are ready, give God a shout this morning. Hallelujah. Let's give him a praise.
your neighbor is not sweating that person is a suspect check if your neighbor is not sweating that person is a suspect amen hallelujah you know all through this year and beyond this is how you'll be praising God this is how the year will end for you amen. in joy amen. in rejoicing amen. in celebration amen. In your home, there shall be no sorrow. Amen. We say, Amen. We will rejoice with you. Amen. We will celebrate with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.